Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful nightclub, the stadium, the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. The cops didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's finest, it'd be a miracle if the CS were still in business by the end of the day. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcello were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. The place was swarming with cops, but they weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna, before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcello were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. These raids, Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. Everyone was fair game, as I was about to find out. seen that number before. Were these the same bloodthirsty motherfuckers that showed up after the shootout at the party? The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second.
There was a danger of this starting to get too real. I was still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Hare Krishnas. I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? <laughs> Nunca aprende a lição. Traficantes e viciados, né? Espero que.
seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they'd picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcello and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? Marcelo! You bastard! Giovanni! It's gonna be okay. No, 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 you don't want to do that. Come on. Legendary gang way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people it took. Shh. Give us this. For you, Americano. Foi. Foi. He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de Americano. Coisa morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. 